Hi everyone, hope you guys are fine. Up till now we had discussed how to host our application on Firebase, Search, GitHub Pages, on Netlify and also host our server on Heroku or Railway. Today I am going to host my React application or Marin application on EC2 instance. This is my React application in which I can add new fields, edit and also delete this so let's get started uh, go to aws uh, amazon.com and log in with your account go to search for ec2 i'm going to use my this repository for all the for for, for hosting so in ec2 go to instances and launch new instance can name your instance react hosting you can choose any of the machine I am going with Ubuntu with the latest 22.0.04 version I will leave other configuration as is let's generate a new key value pair I am using dot uh, windows machine so that I, I will use putty for ppk format so let's download this with the name this key is used to connect with our EC2 instance okay so we need to allow this traffic as we are hosting our react build and we, uh, for SSH I will allow it to only access with my custom IP if you are using uh, I'm using static IP so that I'm using my IP if you are using your IP which, uh, which is not static you can add your complete pool over here so other other things will remain same and launch instance okay so our instance is up it is now pending let's wait for it okay, our server is up and running so now let's uh, access it via putty so i have already downloaded it let me open it for the host name this I will use my IPv4 and in connection SSH auth and credential add your downloaded key file open it and open accept it the default user will be Ubuntu Okay, so I have now logged in with my Ubuntu machine using these credentials. So this is the blank machine. I need to install everything like Git, Node, and everything. So let's install the Git. I have a few com uh, commands. So let's install the Git. Okay, git is installed. Now let's install node and npm. Using curl. Okay, it is taking a few seconds to continue. Okay our next command is install node.js yes let's check the version of npm node node is installed mm. now let's check the npm version npm is not installed but we have the command to install it right okay 
npm is also installed let's check the version yep okay so now let's go to our repository then cd and the folder and npm install for the server and then npm install for the web for our react okay so there are some node version mismatch so let's go with the legacy dependencies okay our node modules are done are installed now let's start our server Currently, I am using Node for start the server. Uh, later, we will use Forever to start our server. So, Node server.js. Okay, so it is giving me error because we do not have uh, the MongoDB URI over here. So, let's create the .env file. And the root. Okay, so it is not working because I have used the MongoDB URI to connect it. So let's paste the URI in the terminal. Control X, con Shift Y, and Enter. Then we need to restart the server. Okay, our server is running on port 4000 and it is connected to MongoDB. So now let's see if it is working on our URL. You can check your website on details and open your IPv4. Initially it will not be the secure. So let's remove the S and add our port number 4000. Okay, it will not run because we have not added this port number on our EC2 instance. So let's go to EC2 instance and details. Go to security, security group, edit inbound rules, and here we need to add the IPs, which we are going to use. I will add 4000 and it will allow it to anywhere. Save it. and now let's see if it's work yeah it is working now let's see if it was it working fine or not let me add this okay it is not working okay the issue is uh, it is sending the request to the wrong url you can see it is send request to this url but our url has changed to this url so let's change this on your ec2 instance stop the server then cd web src lib i have defined the url over here you can see the dev was working on localhost 4000 and the prod url will be this but this has now changed Control X Y and enter. Let's see if I did right. Yep, it is updated. Uh, now we have changed our front end build. We uh, front end code. We need to create a new build. So. 
on the root of the project on the root of the web project npm run build okay so our front end build is done now let's start our server okay so let's see if it works now yeah it is working let me add new record yep it is added now let's edit this yep and i can delete this okay so this is done but uh, now we need to start the server for forever because if i just close this terminal this url will not work right so we need to make this work so let's connect the putty again connection ssh auth credential and then oops i have had the wrong email <coughs> this is our email this is our ipv4 connection ssh auth credential and then this username is ubuntu ok so now let's install forever forever will start our server for forever it will not stop the server if uh, there is any error or whatsoever the reason is okay so i have the permission issue so let's add the sudo before this okay so let's start the forever forever start server.js uh, so let's reconfirm if it's work forever list it will show the list of our active servers like right? it is showing the time our server is up now so let's refresh this yeah it is working okay guys we have successfully hosted our application on ec2 instance hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching bye bye